And an Indiana congressman is now warning Hoosiers about false claims targeted at a newly proposed COVID-19 bill. The TRACE Act, that's what the bill is called, it would actually provide billions of dollars of money for more testing as well as contact tracing. But it's tangled up in what some call misinformation. Our 13 Investigates reporter Sandra Chapman tonight breaks down House Resolution 6666. 6666. That is not an exaggeration. This is where it all starts. Ominous numbers assigned to the TRACE Act or House Resolution 6666. Six. Theologians associate the triple six with the mark of the beast. It's from a Bible passage in the book of Revelations identifying the Antichrist or evil. How in the world did this get the number 6666? That's a good question. You know, um, the number and the timing of the number um, even calls me concerns, but uh, the numbers are uh, selected sequentially. Indiana Congressman Andre Carson is one of 58 co-sponsors. The bill was introduced by Illinois Democrat Bobby Rush on May 1st. It quickly came under attack. You have COVID-19, and so to protect your child, we're going to take that child, or we're going to take your grandmother or your father or you and put you into quarantine. There are rumors that folks would be quarantined um, in, in camps like the Japanese internment camps, not to mention the Tuskegee experiment that was conducted by public health officials on African Americans, folks having suspicions against the government, understandably so. But the TRACE Act doesn't do such a thing. In fact, it provides resources uh, to better help COVID-19 uh, patients uh, uh, quarantine themselves in their own homes. The TRACE Act stands for testing, reaching, and contacting everyone. It would authorize the CDC to award $100 billion in grants for testing, contact tracing, and monitoring of COVID-19. The money would go to federal health centers, hospitals, and schools in hot spots and underserved areas in both urban and rural America. I want to make sure that it complies with uh, privacy rights and civil rights laws. Carson warns Hoosiers to pay attention. As for the TRACE Act, independent fact checkers say the claims circulating in videos are false. Some platforms are now banning them. Disinformation is, is a threat to public health. Congressman Carson admits the $100 billion bill is ambitious. Now, whether it passes or not, he wants to see more funding for COVID-19 testing and contact tracing.